This evening, we're getting a better look at the burglary of Caliber's gun shop. New video shows how the thief got inside and made off with more than $6,000 worth of firearms. News 13's Natalie Wattis is live at the Caliber's near I-40 in Washington. Surveillance video you're about to see will show you exactly how a thief squeezed in through a tiny window, but he made one big mistake that helped police figure out exactly who he is. A serial, like, top 10 Albuquerque offender. In the early hours of February 18th, these two men broke into the calibers on Cutler near Washington. How did he get through that? Is my question. The video shows him coming through it. That's crazy. <clears throat> my leg wouldn't fit through that. By removing a small window and climbing through, the store manager pieced together what happens next for police. He essentially comes in, takes a couple stuff off the wall, immediately goes over the cases in the bag, grabs a backpack. He'll come over, uh, try to bust the glass, pushes it off, steal some handguns, um, possibly some Oakleys. But the suspect had left fingerprints everywhere. And there were no shortage of fingerprints on file for Alejandro Gonzalez. His accomplice never made it into the store, so he used a sign to grab what turned out to be a plastic training gun. At the time of this crime, the detective on this case was investigating six other burglaries that had the same method of entry, and he was actively investigating two other burglaries at Calibers within the past month. Dude, the guy that's doing this, is he's got to be like the worst burglar in, in Albuquerque history, because he has hit everything, everything. Although police knew exactly who they were after, Gonzalez wasn't arrested until June when he was picked up for shoplifting at Walmart with fentanyl on him. Back to you. Natalie, thank you. Police believe the accomplice in that video is named William Barry, but he has not yet been charged with a caliber's heist. Like Gonzalez, he has a history of drug and burglary charges.